guys, welcome back to my channel, Misty Moss of Moss Photography. And today I wanted to talk about how to choose the right boudoir photographer. So if you're interested in doing a boudoir photo shoot and you've started to do your research and you're just overwhelmed by all the amount of options of amazing artists that are out there and you just want help knowing how to find the right fit, this is the video for you. If you're new here, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell and all that fun stuff and let's get into it. All right, first things first when choosing a photographer is you need to know why you want to be doing a boudoir photo shoot. What is really important to you? What is your intention? What do you want to get out of it? And does the photographer reflect that in their own values, their branding, and their message? And able to know if the fit is right for you, you need to know what you want first. So it's important to just kind of do a little bit of self-reflection, a little bit of digging, and see, do you want to get some deep healing out of a boudoir photo shoot, or are you just looking to get some nice photos done that you can print in an album to have for you and a partner to share together? What's the most important thing? And is the branding and message of the photographer in alignment with what you want to get out of the shoot? So that's number one. <laughs> Number two, I think this is the most important one. Um, and is that, do they make you feel safe? Does that photographer give you good vibes? Do they give you good energy? Do they make you feel comfortable? Is that somebody you want to get that vulnerable and intimate with? If it's a no, maybe it's not the right fit for you. Maybe it's not such a good choice to work with them for this type of photo shoot. Number three, also super key, super important. Do you like their style? Do you like their art? Do you like how they've styled their studio if they have one? If you're looking at their portfolio and you're going, oh, well, I like their work, but I don't really like the style of the photos, maybe it's not a good fit for you because you're gonna want something that they don't provide in a style that maybe they don't do. So you need to make sure that you're super happy and super stoked on the art that they make when it's not you because it's gonna reflect what your photos look like. So make sure you love their portfolio, you love the vibe and the tones that they do, you like how they designed their studio and how they set up their shots. Another thing to keep in mind is do you like their posing? Do you like the style that they do? There are a million different ways to pose a human and none of them are wrong, there's just different ways to do it. So you need to make sure that you like the way that they pose their clients um, because that's how they're gonna pose you as well. So you need to make sure that what you see is something that you're really excited about and you really wanna be a part of because if you go in and ask a photographer to do something that they haven't done that isn't in their portfolio, Neither of you are going to be in alignment and neither of you are going to be excited about it um, and it's just going to not be the best end result. So you want to make sure that you like what they're already doing so that you know that they're the artist for you. Number four, do they shoot the content you want? There's different kinds of photographers. There's wedding photographers, family photographers, lifestyle photographers, and then boudoir photographers and inside those niches there's also little sub niches um, so do they shoot the kind of thing that you want to do maybe you want something a little bit more nitty-gritty and raw a little bit more on the edgy side a little bit more uh, with the spice turned up a little bit or maybe you want something really sensual and romantic and soft maybe you want to put the photos on a site where you can get benefits and monetary income from it. Um, so you need to make sure that the photographer makes the content that you want to make uh, and that they're comfortable doing so. Some photographers don't like shooting sub niches. Some boudoir photographers don't work with men, they only work with women. Some don't do maternity boudoir, they only do regular boudoir. Some photographers only shoot in their studio, they won't go outside to shoot outdoors. Um, so you just need to make sure that they are shooting and available to shoot the content that you want to make and the photos that you want to have. There's nothing more heartbreaking than really wanting to shoot outside and then booking a photographer and finding out that they only do studio bookings or that they don't do a certain kind of neon look or a shower shoot or like something that you want to make. So just make sure that you're asking for what you would like and making sure that it is a service that they also provide. Number five, are they in your budget? 
<laughs> boudoir photography is expensive because it is a luxury. Um, a lot of these artists have been cultivating this toolkit for a, a long time. It is a very niche subject. It is There are lots of layers to things that you need to learn. Um, and the experience of the photographer is going to be reflected in their price point. So if you're looking for somebody who has more uh, experience and who has been doing this for a long ass time or who is just really good at their craft, you're going to be paying premium prices for that premium service. If budget is something that you are really tight on, maybe you really, really want this photographer who fits all of these other boxes for you, um, then maybe it's time to think about budgeting for their service and saving up for it over time. Or the alternative is booking a photographer who is newer or just starting out on their journey who might be a little bit more affordable for the budget that you're at. However, you will be giving up on certain things like experience, quality of service, quality of the shoot, so just keeping all of those things in mind. Um, never try to bargain with the photographer. It would be like going into Apple and bargaining for a MacBook, except it's a lot more harmful and very rude. Um, so please don't go out there bargain hunting for a photographer. The prices people have listed on their websites are calculated. They are based on a number of different things and they are tried and true. So just respect what the photographer is asking from you. Um, if you absolutely can't make it into your budget and you just can't see the value in the rate they're asking for based on the other things that they provide, maybe it's time to look around for a photographer who is a little bit more aligned with your budget. But if this is a service and an experience that is of high value to you and you really want to gift this to yourself and do it right, uh, definitely thinking about saving up, investing in the photographer that is most aligned with you because you're gonna have the most amazing time doing that. It really is an experience that can change your life. Um, and I really do believe that it's totally worth it if you find the right person who can work with you to achieve what you want to achieve uh, and help document you in this way and make you into a beautiful work of art. Um, so keep all of that in mind. All right, the last one I have on this list, just to help know if they really are the right photographer for you and that they really do check off all of those boxes and they make you feel super safe and super excited. Um, and that is just if they offer a consultation. Most boudoir photographers, most photographers will offer a complimentary consultation so you don't need to book anything. There is no obligations. You can just talk to them to see if they fit with you. Um, I personally do this. I absolutely love it. Um, some clients aren't the right fit for me and I'm not the right fit for them. So if I feel like that way in the consultation, I will recommend them and refer them to other photographers who are in better alignment with them so that they can have the best experience. Not every photographer is going to be the right fit for you. Um, and if you're a photographer watching this, not all clients are going to be the right fit for you. And that is okay. Uh, know who you need and know who you want to work with. Feel free to write down some questions for your photographer for your consultation so you can get to know each other a bit better um, and see if their working style and their art style is in alignment with what you would like to get out of your boudoir shoot. So that is it. Those are my six tips for how to find the perfect boudoir photographer to help you get the most out of your shoot and have the experience that you really want and that you really freaking deserve. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's short and sweet, but I'm trying to keep it that way for you. Um, don't forget to subscribe, like, hit that bell, comment down below what your favorite part of the video was, and if you learned anything new today, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.